One of the most important parts of our work is based around long-term study sites which we've had in place in many cases dating right back to 1983. And one of the groups of animals that we regularly survey on those sites are forest birds. There's about 65 species of birds, give or take 20 species across this system. And on average we see that the unlogged, unburnt sites have by far the highest species richness. In fact, when we compare them against places that have been salvage logged, for example, which is post-fire clear felling, we see there's about four times as many species on an unlogged, undisturbed site as compared to a very highly disturbed site. The forest birds tell us a lot about what's going on, so most of the calling is actually done by males. And calling takes energy, and so the amount of calling that gets done tells us about the quality of the forest. And that then is a signal that's read by females and they choose their mates based on the amount of calling that's been done by the males because that's the places where their territories are likely to be most successful. So forest birds are really important in their systems and they're also telling us about how these systems are tracking. So since 2004 we've seen significant declines in 24 of the 49 bird species for which we've done detailed long-term analysis. So this is telling us that the system is not travelling well and that we need to do more to better protect this system to not only conserve the forest but the important species that occur within it and birds are a really key group. So there are some important things in the declines of species and one of them is that almost all of the hollow dependent species are showing signs of significant decline which means that that's in common with almost all of the species of possums and gliders in this forest. And that's related to the catastrophic loss of very large old trees in this system. Now how do we know these things? The way that we collect our data each year in the same way with the same group of people on the same sites gives us what's called time series data. And that tells us about trends over time. And those key trends are important for us to understand the condition of the forest, the condition of biodiversity and how it's changing over time. Then we need to understand what we need to do about it and that's where conservation science and threatened species management comes in.